Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of WoW Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. We are kicking things off in the Barrens again. And we're just going to pick up some more quests because I think a lot of these are just going to be minor quests. Like this one for instance, Plain Strider Menace. Your first prey will be easy. The Plain Striders to the east have been harassing our food supplies and have become a nuisance. Put down the Plain Striders and return to me with their beaks. Uh, with their beaks, not their heads. And that's a great idea. Apparently there is silver leaf growing, like, strangely close to the town. And what I don't think I did is uh, I don't think I remembered to set my hearthstone here, so let's do that really fast before we head out anywhere. Alright, there we go. I wonder what the odds are of there being like a mage trainer here. Probably not very good. We probably have to visit a main city. And I actually had multiple opportunities to do that. And didn't. You guys are guards, but we can't ask you any questions. Okay, um... Let's head out to the southwest and see if we can find raptors and maybe an oasis to get fungal spores. Uh, okay, let's see what Tonga Rune Totem has though. Ah, the Forgotten Pools. Long ago, the Barrens was a lush place teeming with life, but war and cataclysm raged across the land, scorching it and leaving a dry husk. Such is the way of things, and it saddens my heart. But within the past few years, new oases have formed in the barrens, and life stirs. And deep down, we druids sense a power leaking its way to the surface. We must find its source. Travel to the Forgotten Pools, northwest of the crossroads. Search its waters for a source of power, then return here. Ah, uh, that's northwest. Okay, well, maybe if we head northwest... The Forgotten Pools, that will be an oasis where we can find fungal spores, and um, maybe we can knock two quests out at once. It's probably too much to hope that... It's probably too much to hope that there's also raptors over here, but... Uh, we could get really lucky. Stranger things have happened. Alright, Koran, let's see what you have for us. Egg Hunt. I've been sent to the crossroads to watch over the land and take note of its happenings for my masters in Ogremar. One object of my studies are the insect-like creatures found to the south of the Field of Giants. We know little of the creatures, so I'd be making it a point to discover more. They seem to have intelligence to them, more so than any normal animal. Take this digging claw and collect some of the creatures' eggs from their mounds, but be careful. If alerted, they will attack you. Twelve silithid eggs. Yeah, silithid are interesting. Uh, a, a pretty decent cloak reward. Well, we swap intellect for spirit, basically. It's a nice color change, though. We'll probably equip it just to have something different to look at at this point. That's way, way to the south, though, if I remember correctly. Uh, because I've done some of these quests, I've done all these quests at one point or another because I, I leveled in the barons during vanilla. So a lot of these are familiar to me. And the, sil the silithids are going to be pretty far down to the south, I believe. So we'll hold off on that. Let's head up this way and see if we can find the forgotten pools. Keep an eye out for raptors too. Well, I see palm trees ahead. That's a good sign of an oasis. I also see centaur huts. However, surprisingly, we don't have a quest to fight centaurs yet. So I'll probably be trying to avoid most of their patrols. Because at some point there will be quests to fight them. As well as their chieftain, I believe. 
And these guys are level 13, so we're actually pretty close to out-leveling them as well. Wow, look at these rangers just pathing all the way across the open fields. It's really like open areas like the barrens that you don't get a lot these days in retail World of Warcraft. They try to make the maps denser and have like more of an X and Y axis to them than just the flat planes and that's you, that can be really visually interesting but it's also like it's just sometimes it's a pain in the ass to navigate not enjoyable to me I like the open areas as well sometimes I feel like the ground clutter is a bit much what do you guys think? I, I like it, but it just gets to be an incredible amount in some places. There we go. It's to the point where it's like as tall as your character. You can't even barely see your character because there's so much ground clutter. We'll turn that down a little bit for now. So these are the forgotten pools. We need to go to the bottom and, and do something at the bottom. Um, are we using an item, I wonder? Maybe we just have to click something down here. Oh, I see mushrooms. Sometimes it's still jarring to me when the items don't light up and they're not sparkly like they are in retail. and but they're the objects that we need like they just blend in so perfectly to everything else in the background and I really wish they'd go back to doing things like that it's like when you have all of your quest items that you have to find sparkle and glow from a mile away it takes all of the effort out of the quest and in retail wow you already have arrows and circles on the map telling you where things are at I feel like if the worst that happens is you have to actually like hover over things in your environment to find the items you need, then shouldn't you be willing to do that? Because look what we were willing to tolerate back in 2004. These, these were hard to find. But it added to the overall challenge and immersion in the game. One more spore, and then we can get out of here, I guess. I was kind of thinking that would be more difficult, and it might have been had we been at a lower level. We might have aggroed some of these centaurs that are lurking nearby. The Forgotten Pools quest is definitely going to chain. I feel like that's probably part of an overarching quest chain that is going to tell a story of what's happening in the zone. Because it's talking about the resurgence of life force coming back to the Baron, seeping out of the ground. Unfortunately, that story doesn't really come to fruition until the Cataclysm expansion, which is, uh, the, you know, three expansions later, we'll get to finish the story of life coming out of the ground and revitalizing the Barons, and that only happens uh, because of the Cataclysm and Deathwing, basically. So to say the story is a slow burn. Um, would be accurate. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen like lots of other players at low level. It could be that everyone's at high level and not enjoying alts, or it could be that people are heading back to retail to get ready for the 8.3 patch and then people will probably spend a few months in retail and then come back to classic. Just because the content in 8.3 honestly after doing research and looking into it, the content seems pretty sparse. I mean there's a new gameplay loop for gear progression and character progression, but it is a very, very obvious gameplay loop. As far as new story content, 
there's only like two hours of actual story content that happens basically right at the beginning of the of the chain the first chain that leads you into the patch content and that's all the story that there really is and the rest is doing your daily and weekly grind uh, doing lesser visions so you can do a greater vision so you can get corrupted gear so you can progress farther in greater visions to get better gear and it, then, then you're locked into a gameplay loop which it could, it could be an enjoyable gameplay loop I just don't think it's enjoyable content to make it to YouTube videos so I might do the story stuff for 8.3 but it, it wouldn't be a lot even if we did that it'd be a couple hours of story content that I think for most of us is kind of disjointed at this point if we've if you've taken a break from retail and you've just gotten the story from outside sources it might be just a little bit disjointed so was kind of hoping it would be more story heavy but it just seems like a new gameplay loop and trying to fix some mistakes that battle for azeroth have made as far as like some of the systems and character progression and gear uh we don't need that let's turn in fungal spores ah yes these are good specimens potent i am forsaken and we honor our contracts here is your reward Alright, is he, is he, he's doing something. He's preparing them for transport. I have rendered the spores you gave me into an emulsion. I must now send it to my associate, Apothecary Zama. If you were to carry this to her, she could offer you something from our stores of alchemical goods. She is in the Pools of Vision, a cave beneath the Shamans of Thunderbluff. The path to this cave is well hidden, but you may find it on the Spirit Rise Bluff. Do hurry, this emulsion will maintain its potency for only a short time, and must be resealed and processed before then. Um, I'm not going to grab this right now, because it might literally be timed, and we have to go to Thunder Bluff. So he has two fetch quests now, that's impressive. So to get to Thunder Bluff, we'd have to come down the road, turn into Mulgore. And then in Mulgore, we'd have to run all the way up to the northwest uh, area here. And the city of Thunderbluff, where the Torrens reside, is going to be up there. And it's on a series of uh, tall bluffs or plateaus. Uh, it's a really cool town, but I'm not going to head over there right now. Because there's nothing for us to do over there quest-wise. So it's kind of uh, pointless for us now. Uh, Thok, Thork, what did you have again? Uh, just some... Fetch, fetch quests. Alright, let's head out this way and just see if maybe we can find some raptors somewhere. I don't really have a lot else to go on besides uh, raptor. Oh, we have Plain Strider Menace. Where does the... We didn't see the turn in for Forgotten Pools. Tonga, he was over here somewhere, but he, I didn't see him light up on the map. I must have got too distracted talking about retail. Because he was way over here. There he is. I mean, it's Mankirk. Mankirk. Mankirk wants us to find his wife. We know that, right? And if you don't know about Mankirk and, it's, and his wife, you'll find out. We'll see if I remember where she's at. Like the one you found at the Forgotten Pools, there may be fishers at other oases in the Barrens. If so, then perhaps the fishers are the oasis' source of life. We must test this. Here, take these seeds. They are dead and infertile, but take them to the stagnant oases to the southeast. If there is a fisher there, then place the seeds within it and observe. Okay, put some seeds in a hole in the water and see what happens. And did he give us a direction? Did he say southeast? Yes, he did. Alright, we're going to grab the silver leaf. As hidden as it may be. Because it's like one of the only herbs that we've seen here. It's actually pretty impressive, the lack of herbs. I guess we'll buff up.
And we do need we do need plane strider beaks. Let's grab some of these guys on our way. I don't know if they come from any plane striders. One of them was a greater, this one's a fleeting. I'm just going to assume that any plane strider beak will do because they did not specify. Hey, there's level 18. All right, these guys, they don't have a lot of beaks. We can say that safely at this point. I love that these plane striders run away. It's rare that animals will run away, uh, but these guys do. It's interesting. It's like they're birds, so they're smart, you know? Not smart enough, or else they wouldn't have fought us to begin with, but... Alright, let's leave, let's... I mean, maybe it is a specific plane strider, because these guys just are not dropping beaks for us. Um, well, let's keep on keeping on... Oh, I see a raptor. Let's try one more plane strider. Maybe there's, like, that, that hump you have to get over where... You'll kill 15 before any will drop, and then they'll all drop at once. That happens often in Classic. Not today, not yet. Uh, now Raptors, now we need their entire heads. So let's see how that goes. He resisted, that was nice. Good, good, good for him. Alright, heads, easier. Easier to just grab an entire head, apparently. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I see the palm trees. Let's head in this direction towards the oases. And we'll take on whatever raptors that are in our way. As well as uh, plane striders. That are convenient. Malachite, we can sell another head. Alright, let's get our mana back. And let's also look at talents. What were we working on? I think we'd gone back to continue improving Frostbolt in an attempt to get down into the next tier. So let's go ahead and just keep doing that. That's just reducing the cast time of Frostbolt, so making it faster. Ooh, yes, we have skinning. And I know that we've already missed a bunch of plane striders, and that probably drove you guys crazy. <laughs> and yeah, I apologize. One day I'll remember that we have skinning. It just doesn't make sense to me, like part of it, because, you know, we're clothy. But we have skinning because we intentionally took it for collecting and selling. But it just doesn't click every time I log in, you know? Herbalism always clicks because we have to track it. Skinning, uh, when I accidentally hover over a dead mob, then it clicks. These guys are rather beakless. And some of them are gray, which means we're not getting kill experience, which is uh, really unfortunate. These guys are low level as well, so we'll just kind of cut right between them with little regard, because they're probably not going to aggro us up at level 18 like we are. 
Did we lose anything? Oh, we've lost Plane Strider Menace. It's gray. We are. For that shitty drop rate, we're not doing that. Uh, and so, yeah, that's interesting. These elite quests are green. Husband's Revenge turned yellow. Very strange. Okay, we're good. We might not... We'll probably be here for maybe one more level. We might not even have to be, but... We'll stick it out. I just don't think I'm going to get too invested in the Barons. I don't I don't plan to be here that long on this character, honestly. It's a nice it's a nice change of scenery. It's very beautiful here. And there's a lot to do. I would just rather save it for a Tauren or an Orc. And so we won't spend a lot of time here, I don't think. Um, I don't think these two would social aggro. Kind of wish we had a quest to fight hyenas, since there seem to be some down here, and random drafts. Like I said, I really don't care to fight any of these centaur until we have the quest to do so. And they seem to have built us a nice way around them. Oh look, there were mushrooms up here as well. Now this oasis seems to have aggressive uh, snapping turtles in it. Let's take care of these, gla uh, these guys before we jump in, shall we? Now we have to plant these seeds here. I wonder if anything's actually going to happen. It's classic, so I doubt it. No, I don't I don't see that anything really occur, but I'm sure I'm sure he'll tell us what happened. It was probably a success. But he'll likely have a follow-up. And I'm guessing that the follow-up is going to be surrounded by more raptors. And so I'm probably not going to stress about killing them all right now. We're going to carve our way back. Kill whatever we can along the way and turn this in and see if it changes into another quest at these oases. I think raptors are going to be pretty easy to find uh, if we do a few more quests here. And they seem to pretty consistently drop their heads, surprisingly enough. The aesthetic is also kind of weird, like seeing an, an undead, a forsaken, running through the barrens, it, it like, it almost doesn't jive for me very well. I know it, it doesn't really matter, your character goes everywhere, but uh, it's just kind of weird. It makes me wonder if I've ever been on a forsaken in the barrens before. I don't know that I have necessarily. Uh, I don't need the silver leaf that badly, no thanks. None of the raptors respawned, unfortunately, so there has to be a more dense area of raptors, and I'm sure we'll come across that eventually. I do love, like, the wildlife diversity of the barrens, and just the way that some of these creatures path across the zone like this. I think that's really cool if you think about this being something that was made back in 2004. It just really makes the world feel alive. 
And not all MMOs nail stuff like this, or even just role-playing games in general. They don't all have those immersive elements just in the world to make the world feel alive. And it's a really nice touch. Your findings are amazing. The seeds I gave you were dried and dead. Whatever rests under these oases can create life from nothing. We must study this more. I had a feeling you'd say that. Altered beings. Your findings are incredible. These oases hold properties that must come from an outside source, or perhaps an inside one. I want to know how these fissures are affecting the beasts who drink from the oasis waters. Hunt oasis snapjaws at the lush water and stagnant oases. Bring me their shells so I may examine them. Bring eight altered snapjaw shells to Tonga. Okay, so those are the turtles. Uh, we can definitely do that. I think I want to take a break here. When we come back, we will hunt turtles. Let's grab a Mancrix. Let's... Oh, oh, there's going to be some prequels before Mancrix wife. Let's see what he's got. Consumed by hatred. 60 Quillboard Tusk. We should have grabbed this right away. Perhaps you know the pain of uncertainty. Perhaps not, mage. But know this. I stand here every day, from the sun's rising till its decline, scouring the horizon for more of those monsters. I've killed every pigman I've come across since, but my thirst for their blood is far from quenched. Perhaps instead of heading north to the crossroads, I should have headed to Taraho. You, mage. You could help me. Killed them. Kill as many as you can. Bring me their tusks. We will celebrate their deaths together. Uh, yeah, we've... <laughs> God, I wish we'd been collecting tusks all along, man. Alright. Lost in battle. We battled in a small Torin camp when we were separated. She held three of the bristlebacks off by herself. But the odds began to overwhelm us. I led some away only to see her overwhelmed by newcomers. In my rage, I turned to face my enemies but they brought me down easily with their vast numbers. I awoke to a torn druid tending my wounds. He had come across me on the gold road as I fell. Please, mage, find some sign of my wife. Ooh, bad news, man, Crick. Bad news, man. And on that note, man, Crick's wife is somewhere down here. I think... I think you can already tell that I'm going to have a hell of a time finding her, and I'm not going to look up her location on Wowhead. We're going to do this the right way. Uh, for now, let's get into the inn, get some rested experience. You can see the end of it there. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys are still having a good time. I definitely am. Let me know what you think. And, yeah, as always, I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. So take care, and we'll see you again soon.